What's up guys, it's Elwich with Low Tech. We're doing a quick unboxing of the Turris Omnia open source router. This was a open source router that was actually funded on Indiegogo, um, which is very similar to Kickstarter if you guys don't know. Um, and this is actually funded pretty close to earlier this year, I think it was around March, um, and I'm just getting this today. There's a couple different models of this one. This is gonna be the wireless model. The color, uh, we'll find out in just a second. I actually forgot which color I got. Um, but it's a really interesting unboxing because since this device is actually going to a number of different countries, some of the items are actually not included in the box. You can see this box is actually pretty small. Um, and there is actually stuff that came inside the packaging box. So let's take a look at that stuff here too first. And these are the antenna go in the back. So I'm not sure why they would have this box separately. They do have a non-wireless version of this, but you would assume that the box with for all the wireless ones would include this together. It's probably they designed one box to fit all the different models, no matter which kind it was. And so they shipped the wireless pieces separately. So let's take, if you've had a, a wireless piece added onto the back of your computer or installed it inside of one of your routers before, uh, you kind of know what it looks like. There, put this off to the side. It also comes with a separate power adapter and cable for whatever country you're looking to use this device in, whatever one you ordered it to, as well as the manual in two different languages, English, and I'm not exactly sure, I'm gonna guess it's some form of Russian. Um, <laughs> So this actually is created in Europe. So this is actually imported. I believe it's from the Netherlands, um, but you could actually find a lot more about it about at Turris Omnia. Um, that user manual comes with the router, three antennas and the power adapter. Yeah, because that's kind of what includes here. Um, it does have some basic instructions about the IP addresses as well as some of the ports inside of here, but nothing to Astounding. The box itself is brown. Um, it does say it has Wi-Fi, which includes the Wi-Fi here in the side, so I'm not sure why they didn't include it in the box. Uh, this is the black model, and it's the one gigabyte model, but that's the internal specs, so that shouldn't be too much of a difference in what's included. Taking a look at the device itself. And there we go. It's a little smaller than I expected it to be. Um, it does look a little generic. Um, if you can look here, the, the, the ports and the, the indicator lights here. One USB on the front, another USB on the back. This is going to be for the internet connection in. Actually, no, this would be to connect to, I guess, other models to expand the ports. I'm sure it says something like that. The SFP port. I'm sure somebody knows what that uses for, but I, off the top of my head, do not know. So, it's for um, internet as well as the LAN ports. So, five total LAN ports. DC power in, and this is where you would screw in. your antenna. Uh, the device is made of metal, so it doesn't feel necessarily cheap, but it does feel pretty hollow. Um, and it kind of reminds me of something you'd get out of China. Um, obviously it's probably uh, is manufactured in China, but it, it looks like something you would get um, from a generic company as opposed to uh, something that is at least coming with paperwork in your own language. Um, but overall, I mean, it looks pretty nice. It looks like a router. Um, it actually probably looks a little more like a modem than a router, but I mean, it's more what's inside that counts. We will be testing out this device to kind of see how it performs. If you have any questions on the, you know, operating this device, or if you have, you know, any questions about things that you can do with this device, just let us know. We would be happy to test it out. Uh, we're currently using one of the Google On Hubs over here, so um, that would be the best thing we have to compare it with in terms of performance. But let us know what questions you have, and we will definitely 
try to answer them for you. Thanks for watching guys, this is Elliot with Low Tech and this is the Taurus Omnia wireless router. Subscribe.